Have you ever had a personality clash with someone? It might be someone in your family, it might be a team member or co-worker. Um, have you ever had the situation whereby you just feel like they just don't understand me? Or they're rubbing me up the wrong way? Or have you had a, a boss or a manager who, uh, who, who managed you in a way that frankly just annoyed you? Well, these things happen in life. And the one thing that, um, you know, we're, we're trained th from a very early age um, from school in the three, the three R's, but there's one R that's missing. So we've got reading, writing, and arithmetic, um, but we've never been trained in all of our time to the time that we're adults in relationships how to actually build rapport with people and how to uh, have productive communication, productive relationships with people who may be different from us. So if you can relate to what I've just said, and I would imagine that everyone in the world should be able to relate to that, uh, no one's perfect, we've all had these run-ins, then I'm going to show you a very quick uh, tool which is going to help you. It's going to help you relate better to people, build rapport, kind of better, quicker, faster with people. Um, and it, it relates to a thing called the platinum rule. Now, um, let me kind of talk about the golden rule first of all. I'm sure that, like me, you were raised very well by your family. And one of the things that my parents would have told me is the golden rule. The golden rule is do unto others as, as you would have done unto yourself. So treat others as you would like to be treated yourself. Um, that's a brilliant rule uh, from an ethics, morals, doing the right thing um, point of view. I, I can't disagree with that rule. But it's not very helpful if you want to build rapport with people, if you want to uh, build a good relationship. And the reason for that is um, you are effectively treating other people the way you want to be treated. But what happens if they don't want to be treated the way you want. So the platinum rule is treat others the way they want to be treated. If we do that, then we're far, uh, far more likely to have a, a productive relationship. But the question is, how do we know how other people want to be treated? Well, this is where this, this, um, this model comes in, into play. So there are Two questions really that you need to ask um, yourself when you're observing people um, to get a kind of an idea as to the behavioural style that they have. And typically, the, the kind of the world will be divided into four behavioural styles. Okay, and I'll cover those in due course. But the very first thing that we need to just understand is ask the, ask the question of yourself when you're observing people, people's behaviour. Are they, are they outgoing? Or are they more reserved? And in terms of the way they, they talk, are they are they more are they more task focused to get things done? Or actually are they more people focused? So thinking about the impact on others. So again, outgoing or reserved. Uh, could be extrovert, introvert, loud or slightly, um, s slightly kind of softer. Or are they more task focused? So that might be you know, people who are more pragmatic. They like to have control. They like to think things through. Or people focused uh, individuals who are more are idealistic think about the relationship uh, more and the kind of the feelings of others. So if you can ask um, those kind of two questions, then you've got a good chance of then starting to can see the four behavioural styles. So let's kind of quickly cover that. Those people who are more outgoing and more task focused, we call them Ds or dominant um, people. Okay? Those people who are more outgoing and more people focused, we call Is. Down here, those who are less um, are, are more reserved but still care about the relationship and the, the person, 
we talked that sorry that was our influence we then have s which is our steady people and then over here those who are more reserved and more task focused we have our c's or conscientious so this is called the disc framework um, what we have here is, we have the D-type personality or behavioural style, I should say, not personality. Um, these are people who are very kind of, very kind of powerful people. They are, they are very kind of fast paced, they, they like to get things done. Um, really good go-getters, you know, a lot of businesses, business owners, entrepreneurs have high D quality in them. Um, the downside of these people is that they tend to be less good with team. What I mean by that is they are, because they are so fast paced and so direct, they have the potential to, um, to upset others. Okay, but still, you know, the, everyone comes with, with ups and upsides and downsides, don't they? So that's the D. What about the I? Well, actually the I's strength is, is with people. Um, fantastic people, people. Um, they can lead well, they can inspire people to act. Um, what they tend to be less good at is, is actually following a plan. So putting some structure to an I person, uh, behavioral style, sorry, um, is something that they would, uh, they would kind of find harder than others. Then we've got the, the steadies. People who are uh, more people focused and a bit more reserved. Again, fantastic players in a team because they are always keen to make sure that harmony exists, that there's, there's peace within the group. Um, so that's the upside. The downside is they, they really try and avoid conflict. They don't want to upset people. Uh, so again, you can imagine if you're a manager who's got high steady uh, behavioural style, uh, at times you're going to have to address kind of lack of performance and that's going to, you know, you're going to have to have an element of conflict. So there are again some watch outs for that particular style. And then finally we've got the conscientious uh, behavioural style who are really, really into the detail. They want things to be precise, very perfect. Um, if you want a job done, done well, give it to a C-type um, behavioural style. But if you're going to give it to them, don't expect it to be done fast, because one of their downsides uh, is that they tend to do things at a much slower pace because they want that perfection. So that's just a really quick whistle-stop tour of the, di the different styles. But hopefully you can see just with, uh, with this that we've got very different types of people. So can you imagine someone who is very detailed in their orientation, as the C behavioral style is, who likes precision, who likes kind of the grounded, um, pragmatic detail of, of a story, uh, and, and how they might interact with someone who is a high influence behavioral style. These are people who are head in the clouds, the dreamers, the visionaries, the ones who don't worry too much about the detail um, and actually want to go at things in quite a fast pace. These guys are slow, these guys are fast, these guys are big on, on the big picture, these guys are, are really kind of into the detail. Can you see where the conflict may arise if these people operate just in their own styles? Uh, again, far better for the I personality, the I, sorry, I keep saying personality, behavioural style, to start to slow the pace down, talk with a little bit more structure, with a bit more detail, dealing in the facts, not in wishy-washy dreams. This person here is far more likely to respond in a, in a favourable way to that kind of approach than if they just came at it from their natural behavioural style. So, lots more to discuss on, on DISC. Uh, it's a phenomenal way to get better quality relationships within your team. Uh, but also think about it from a, how you manage individuals, uh, but also think about when you are selling to different types of people. Again, it's a, phen a phenomenal resource to really understand, a great skill to understand when it comes to a selling environment um, to be, um, to kind of help you kind of close, close more deals because you have built far stronger rapport with your uh, prospective customers. 
So that's disc. Um, visit my, uh, my website uh, on the disc page and you'll find out a lot more detail about it. But again, let's have a chat, get in touch and, uh, and hopefully we'll kind of bring disc into, into your skill set and into your business. All the best, take care.